I, are most of the staffers that you see um, at a certain age? Yes. They're um, young. They're, they're young. So <laughs> they're, they're extremely smart, but they're young. Mm -hmm. Okay. So would it make sense? Um, uh, one of our investors actually uh, called me with a great idea about uh, doing a video with somebody and how it affects them, their community, uh, some of the unexpected consequences and putting it in, in a video, telling somebody's real story. Um, and I think as you're younger, you tend to, it, it kind of gets to you if it's uh, a, a real story that kind of pulls at your heartstrings. <laughs> and I'm yep. just wondering if, if that's a brilliant idea. That's a yeah, brilliant yeah, idea. Yeah. Take yeah. the video, load it onto YouTube, load it onto YouTube, have everybody that you know look at it so you can get the number of views up and then share the link with the congressional staffers. Yeah. That is That's a brilliant idea. idea. We will take we will take that on. You know, there was something in a, the um, email that you just recently sent out um, where you were talking about how important it is for people who don't live in that state to contact the people that are out of state anyway because they collect funds out of state from out of state. That's very interesting. It is. It is. I mean, stop and think about it. How many times do you get some, if you're a registered voter, either party, how many times do you get a piece of mail from someone who's outside your district asking you for money? Yeah. I get it. Right. I get it all the time. I get it all right. the time. I mean, I get a text message a day asking me for, asking me to give money to somebody not in my district. Okay. And I, you know, I've, if there's websites out there, this is, I'll tell you a real quick story. There's websites out there that will list by zip code who are the political donors in a certain zip code. And I've had people come up to me in my hometown and go, what are you doing writing checks to people in New Jersey and Texas and <laughs> elsewhere? And I'm going like, they're in Congress and they listen to what I have to say. <laughs> That's exactly right. 